So now let's talk about unlocking and locking your workspace in addition to the difference between a database with a key file and without. Now when I say locking your workspace, I'm referring to disabling the ability to anyone access your passwords if you walk away from your computer. So you could be at work, you could be at home, and if you're concerned about your passwords and someone getting gaining access to those passwords, it's really important to lock things up or to close the database. Because think about it, you're really offering someone the keys to your house, if you will, especially if you have things like passwords to bank accounts or you're telecommuting if you're working from home. So how do you lock things up? Well, it's very easy to do. By using the toolbar here, just go up to this little lock here and click on that and that will lock your workspace. So all your passwords are now inaccessible. And when you come back to your computer, you can simply click on that button again and unlock your workspace. Now we are getting prompted to enter our master password, that's good. But you'll notice how this database we created was with a key file. So when we click OK, you notice how I got that error message. Let's go back and enter our password. And this time we're going to click on Use Master Password and Key File and then click on our KeyPass file. Click Open, click OK, and now we're in. Another way you could actually lock your workspace is go to the File menu, click the Lock Workspace, so you can also unlock it like that too. But I always prefer keeping my access up on here on the toolbar. Of course, we can also open up another database. You can also, if you wanted to, exit out of the database by going File Exit. Let's go ahead and open up that database that did not have the KeyPass file. Since there was no KeyPass file, there is no reason why we should check right here. Use master password and key file. So simply click OK and voila, we're in. So once again, I do want to reiterate that if you are leaving an unsecured computer, either at work or at home, wherever you are, either exit your database or lock your workspace. In an earlier video, I encouraged you to lock your workspace and key pass when you're leaving your computer for security reasons, since you have many passwords in your database. There are other options to lock your workspace. Go to your tools menu, click on options, and you'll see the security tab here. The one we used before was lock workspace when minimizing the main window. We had that checked off. Another nice option is you can lock your workspace when locking windows or switching user. I really like this option, especially if you're using this at work, because in a work environment, we're often encouraged to lock our Windows computer before leaving. That makes sense, of course, because why would you want someone to have access to your network files or your email? Nice option. A third option is automatically locking workspace after the following number of seconds. By default, this will be turned off as will the lock workspace when locking windows. So I've added 30 seconds. I have tested this and I'm assuming it means locking workspace after there's been no activity in KeyPass. I've tested this, it didn't seem to work, so I would encourage you to test it and maybe let me know the results. So as you can see, there's different ways to lock your workspace and once again I would encourage you to in the very least if you're working in a public area or at home and if you're concerned with someone accessing your passwords maybe not so much at home but definitely in work or in a public environment please lock your workspace